Today we are going to see about the concept of chromatic polynomials in graph theory. Okay. First we see the value f of g comma lambda denote the number of different colorings of g using lambda colors. Uh, for example, we find the value for a complete graph on n vertices. First value is f of k1 comma lambda. Here k1 is a complete graph on one vertex. So that there are uh, lambda possibilities of assigning colors to the vertex in k1. Uh, so we have the value for k f of k1 comma lambda is lambda. Uh, next, we, uh, next we find the value for f of k2 comma lambda. Uh, k2 is a complete graph on two vertices. Uh, here uh, we also here we get the value lambda comma lambda into lambda minus one because for the first vertex we are having uh, lambda colors and the second vertex uh, has only lambda minus one possibilities because we have already assigned one color to the first vertex so balance colors uh, in our hand is lambda minus one. So, the second vertex have only lambda minus 1 possibilities. So, f of k2 comma lambda is lambda into lambda minus 1. So, uh, likewise we can generalize it. In general, f of kn comma lambda is lambda, lambda minus 1, lambda minus 2 up to lambda minus n minus 1. Uh, for the, like, uh, here, uh, the explanation is for the first vertex there are lambda possibilities. Second one we have lambda minus 1 possibilities. Because we have already assigned one color to the first vertex. For the third vertex, we have only lambda minus 2 possibility because we assign two colors to the first two vertex. Uh, likewise, we have to generalize the possibilities for the n, uh, n vertices. Uh, next, we see the totally disconnected graph with n vertices. Uh, usually, this graph is denoted as kn bar. The value for f of k n bar comma lambda is lambda power n. In n, we can't use the color which are previously used because all the vertices are adjacent. But in k n bar, all the vertex are totally disconnected. So, for the first vertex, we can assign lambda colors. For the second one also, we have lambda possibilities because it is not adjacent to any of the other vertices. Likewise, all the n vertices have lambda possibilities. So, lambda into lambda into lambda up to n times we have to multiply. So, we have uh, lambda power n. Next, we have one result that is f of g comma lambda. That is f of g comma lambda is f of g plus uv comma lambda plus f of g comma lambda. If u and v are here, that u and v are two vertices, both are non-adjacent points in G. Also, G plus u v denote G by adding the line u v and h j denotes the homomorphism of G which identifies u and v. Which means it identifies the two non-adjacent vertices u and v. The proof of this result is simple. So, I am not giving you the proof. Uh, this f of g comma lambda is called the chromatic polynomial of g. Next, we see the chromatic polynomial for the graph tree with n points. That is, f of g comma lambda is, for a tree is, lambda into lambda minus 1 power n minus 1. Here, first we have to choose an arbitrary vertex v from g and assign lambda possibilities for that. So, for all the remaining vertices, we have to assign any color different from the assigned one to the previous, different from the assigned color to the previous adjacent vertex. So, it has lambda minus 1 possibilities for the all the other vertices except the first vertex. So, first vertex has lambda, possibility and the remaining vertices has lambda minus 1 possibilities. There are lambda minus 1 remaining vertices, so n minus 1 remaining vertices. So, f of g comma lambda for a tree is lambda into lambda minus 1 power n minus 1. Okay. Next
next we see into the problem. That is, we are going to find the chromatic polynomial of the graph G. Here the graph is given like this. Uh, we, here we have to use the chromatic polynomial formula. That is, f of g, lambda equal to f of g plus uv, lambda plus f of h g, lambda. Okay. Here we start with the given graph g. Next, we have to choose two non-adjacent vertices u and v. Then, you have to make those two adjacent vertices, those two vertices as adjacent. Which means, you have to join u and v. And for the next graph hg, we have to identify u and v into common vertex. So, hg contains one vertex less than the number of vertices in g. Uh, for your clearance, I put everything in, uh, I put the split up into the bracket. So, the first graph is split into two graphs. I put it in a brace and the second graph is split into two graphs. Uh, for each of the two graphs, the first graph contains equal number of vertices and the second graph, uh, homomorphism graph contains one vertex less than the previous one. Okay. Likewise, we have to proceed this one. Uh, proceed like this until we get all the graphs as complete one. For this graph, for this given graph, we will uh, get 1k5. Uh, as we proceed like this, finally we get 1k5. These are the graphs uh, split up of the given graph. Finally, we get into this uh, result that is 1k5 and 3k4s and 2k3s. Next, we apply the chromatic polynomial formula to get the required polynomial. That is, we, know the, we all know the chromatic polynomial formula for a complete graph. That is, f of k n comma lambda is lambda into lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 2 into goes on up to lambda minus n plus 1 or lambda minus of n minus 1. You can use any one. Uh, you, you check it. Uh, so, we get the desired value as lambda power 5 minus 7 lambda power 4 plus 19 lambda cube minus 23 lambda square plus 10 lambda. Okay, you check it. This is the formula I have used to prove the result. Okay. Next, I am giving one problem uh, related to this chromatic polynomial. The question is, prove that lambda power 4 minus 3 lambda cube plus 3 lambda square cannot be the chromatic polynomial of any graph. The solution is, uh, f of g, first you take the given graph, that is, uh, given polynomial, not a given graph. That is f of g comma lambda is equal to lambda power 4 minus 3 lambda cube plus 3 lambda square. Uh, here, uh, we have to make one thing clear. That is, the highest power of lambda is always the number of vertices of that graph. So, this graph, can, the highest power of, of this uh, polynomial is 4. That is lambda per 4 we are having. So that is 4. So the number of points of this uh, polynomial related graph is 4. Next we have to find the number of lines. The number of lines uh, is from the coefficient of the next. Uh, that is we have to choose the positive coefficient of the next highest degree. The next highest degree is lambda power 3 that is its coefficient is minus 3 but you have to choose the positive coefficient. So, the number of lines is 3. The coefficient value is 3. So, for this uh, chromatic polynomial, the graph must contain 4 points and 3 lines. Now, we are going to deal this with 2 cases. Okay, the first case is we are going to have with, uh, uh, we are going to have the graph G to be connected. Uh, so, G is a connected graph, but the number of points is 4, number of lines is 3. So, it satisfies one of the property that Q is equal to P minus 1, that is 3 equal to 4 minus 1, that is P minus 1. 
this is a very famous property of the uh, tree graph so the g must be a tree so f of g comma lambda where g is a tree so we can use the formula of the chromatic polynomial graph of a tree that is lambda into lambda minus 1 power n minus 1 here the number of vertices n is the number of vertices here it number of vertex is 4 so lambda minus 1 power is 3 that is n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 is 3 uh, we have to simplify that value and you will get the power as lambda power 4 minus 3 lambda q plus 3 lambda square minus lambda. But this polynomial is somewhat different from the given one. So we get the contradiction. This implies that the graph should not be connected. Okay, so we move on to the next case that is G is not connected. Here the graph must be G equal to for the second case, g must be equal to, uh, sorry, the second case is g is not connected. Uh, in the PPT, I have put g is connected, considered it as non-disconnected graph. For a disconnected graph, g is equal to k3 union k1. Uh, this is the only possibility of a disconnected graph with four points and three edges. So, f of g comma lambda equal to, uh, now we are converting this into chromatic polynomial. That is f of, key, uh, f of k3 comma lambda and f of k1 comma lambda. Uh, so, the polynomial value is lambda into lambda minus 1 for the first one and for the second one lambda minus 2 into lambda. So, multiplying all these four terms, we will get lambda power 4 minus 3 lambda cube plus 2 lambda square. This polynomial is also different from the given polynomial. Uh, so, here also we have a contradiction. So, the graph is not connected. Also, the graph is uh, not, uh, the graph cannot be a disconnected graph. So, finally we get a contradiction. So, such a chromatic polynomial cannot exist. This is the result it says. Uh, thus, the result is proved. Okay. Thank you.